Once again, thank you for joining us in the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. We are continuing in our verse-by-verse -verse study in the book of 1 Samuel, and we've reached the 26th chapter. And I'm going to jump right in it because it's a long chapter also. Now the Ziphites came to Saul at Gebeth, saying, Is David not hiding in the hill of Halash, Hilshela, opposite Jeshimon? Then Saul arose and went down into the wilderness of Ziph, having 3,000 chosen men of Israel with him to seek David in the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul encamped in the hill of Hilshelah, which is opposite Jeshimon, by the road. But David stayed in the wilderness, and he saw Saul, and he saw that Saul came after him in the wilderness. Verse 4. David therefore sent out spies and understood that Saul had indeed come. So David arose and came to the place where Saul had encamped. And David saw the place where Saul lay. And Abner, the son of Ner, and the commander of his army. Now Saul lay within the camp, within the people encamped all around him. Then David answered and said to Amalek the Hittite, and to Abishai, the son of Z-E-R-U-I-A-H, brother of Joab, saying, who will go down with me to Saul in the camp? And Abishai said, I will go down with you. So David and Abishai came to the people by night. And there were Saul laying sleeping within the camp with his spear stuck in the ground by his head. And Abner and all his people lay around him. Then Abishai said to David, God has delivered your enemy into your hand this day. Now therefore, please let me strike him at once with the spear right to the earth. And I will not have to, and I will ha and I will not have to strike him a second time. Verse nine. But David said to Abishai, "Do not destroy him, for who can stretch out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless?" Amen. I want to mark that. Grab your highlighter. That's verse nine. Once again, David repeating. He can't do that. Um, verse ten. Excuse me. David said, therefore, as the Lord lives, the Lord shall strike him, or his day shall come to die, or he shall go out to battle and perish. The Lord forbid that I should stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed. But please take now the spear and the jug of water that are by his head and let us go. So David took the spear and the jug of water by Saul's head, and they got away. And no man saw or knew or, sp or spoke, for they were all asleep. Because a deep sleep, because a deep sleep from the Lord had fallen on them. Now David went over the other side and stood on the top of a hill afar off, a great distance being between them. And David called out to the people and to Abner, the son of Ner, saying, Do you not answer, Abner? Then, then Abner answered and said, Who are you calling out to the king? Verse 15. So David said to Abner, Are you not a man? And who is like you in Israel? Why then have you not guarded your lord the king? For one of the people came in to destroy your lord the king. This thing that you have done is not good. As the Lord lives, you deserve to die, because you have not guarded the, the Lord's anointed. And now see where the king's spear is, and the jug of water that was by his head. Verse 17. Then Saul knew David's voice. And said, is that the voice? Is that your voice, my son, David? And David said, it is my voice, my lord, O king. And he said, why does my lord thus pursue his servant? For what have I done? Or what evil is in my hand? Now, therefore, please let my lord, the king, hear the words of, the ser of his servant. If the lord has stirred you up against me, let him accept an offering. But if it is the children of men... May they be cursed before the Lord, for they have driven me out of this day from sharing in the inheritance of the Lord, saying, God ser ser saying, go serve other gods. Verse 20. So now do not let blood fall to the earth before the face of the Lord, for the king of Israel has come out to seek a flea as when as when one hunts a partridge in the mountains. Then Saul said, I have sinned. Return, my son, for I will harm you no more. 
because my life was precious in your eyes this day. Indeed, I have played the fool and erred exceedingly. And David answered him and said, Here is the king's spear. Let one of your young men come over and get it. Verse 23. May the Lord repay every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness. For the Lord delivered you into my hand today. But I would not stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed. And indeed, as your life was valued much as much this day in my eyes, so let my life be valued much in the eyes of the Lord, and let him deliver me out of all tribulation. Then Saul said to David, May you be blessed, my son David. You shall both do great things and also still prevail. So David went on his way, and Saul returned to his place. Amen. And that concludes the 26th chapter in the book of 1 Samuel. Amen.